Good evening, guys. Good evening, everyone. Hello, oh, good evening. Mario, Ronald, Eric, Marilyn. Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. So I am working right now, but I can hear you. You're working? Yeah. Really? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah be... but I, I can hear you. I will be listening, okay? I know, right? So let me see, Luis Javier, Mario, Eric. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mario. How are you, Mario? How's everything today? Oh, I'm fine. You're happy, fine? And, happy and sad. Why happy? Why sad? What happened? Well, let's start with the, with the, with the happy part. Why are you happy? Yeah. What happened? Today is was, uh, last day of work because tomorrow beginning the fiestas patronales. Carnival. Where, where, where are you from? Uh, Puerto de la Libertad. All right. So, how many days is that? Is that going to be around? The first, first December 1st, December 8th. Oh, all right. So, you're not going to be working these days? Uh, because south. But, but uh, I have to work. Uh, some days. You have to what? Sorry. Gonna be. For example, tomorrow. Did you say? Did you say that you have to walk every day? Algunos días. <laughs> all right. All right. I get that. But you're not working tomorrow, Mario. Yes, tomorrow is is it's the last day. The week, yes, but, but don't. Right, right. Pero, o sea, tengo que trabajar a tu tío. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. It's quite sad. That's quite sad. Well, thank you for, for being here today, Mario. Excellent. Yes. Let me see. Eric, how's everything, Eric? Good evening. Welcome. Excuse me. Welcome. Hey, what's popping, coach? So, what's up? I'm here. I'm just... I'm just... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm just here. How are you? So far, so good. Excellent, excellent. How was your your Thursday? Was a little tired, but was was um chill. Uh, and uh, 
Yes. Was it the, was it the same, the same of every day. The same routine. No changes. Not nothing new. Same old old thing, huh? I I am not uh a what sorry? Yes. I didn't I the didn't same routine. Oh, all right. The same routine. Yes, I get it, I get that. Let me see. Well how was your day productive? Um, a little, a little, because right. I was I was learning uh, some some things about uh, uh, banking. About uh, banking from yes yes online from some some how can I say um. Bank America Central, Bank of America Central. Yes. I was watching this banking online. Oh, all right. It has several, yes, it has several um, advantage in this case. Really? Well, well, but we don't have this banking in Central Town, I think. Well, I'm, I'm not really sure. How many how many branches are there in the Salvador? I'm sorry. How many branches are 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 there in the Salvador? I don't know, but but it has several. Really? Well, yes. that's, that's it. I don't think we have it here in Sudan. Well, I have I haven't even uh, seen any 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 place. That has a name, maybe, maybe, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I, I don't really go around, you know, so I don't, I don't know many places. I don't know much about. about... In your case, in your case, where do you receive your your salary? Oh, that's a Agricola bank. Um. Yes, I used to, I used to get it at this bank. Uh, what was the name of it? I can't remember, but it wasn't not it was not from Sultan, it was from San Miguel. Because uh they didn't have a they didn't have a, a branch in Sultan. They only had one in in San Miguel. So if I wanted to do a transaction of it, uh I had to go to San Miguel. But uh they they did pay me through through the ATM. But if I wanted to do some other uh, documentation or paperwork, I had to go to San Miguel. And uh, I think they went bankruptcy, and uh, I don't think it longer exists. I'm not really sure. Really, I, I can't remember the name of it. But that in, one, in, yes. in my case, in in this company, they, they use a industrial bank. It's a another another bank. For me, it's new. What? Yes, it is new for me too. And the advantage of this is that I can, I can use, um, whatever, ATM. Oh, okay. We know we know extra charge. Yes, yes without without. Oh, okay, I get, I get it. That's that's good. That's a good advantage actually, because uh most banks, they charge you uh a dollar fifty or two dollars per withdrawal. Yeah. That is not really fair. That's yes, fair. but this advantage is is better because I maybe two hours ago uh, I went to the ATM Agricola. Uh huh. But, but it was full and close to, to there was an uh fede credit i don't remember system of fede credit or exactly, yes. atm and it was alone and i used that and 
I, I, I could, I could, and make my transaction in in a few minutes. That 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 is better than another banks. Yes, yes. But well, going back to the to this bank in San Miguel topic, uh, I'm. I I'm telling you that that happened in 2016, 17, and 18. Uh, sorry, I see. Uh, then uh, we switched to Agricola Bank, and I've been using Agricola Bank since I'm not really sure since when. Yes, but uh, over there in the sort of time, there's uh, well, the banks are close to each other they are very close to each other so you can go to any bank and they're not really far and the atms are really close so you can go around and you can find any atm like very close to each other the problem is that i can use uh the, the, the atm from uh from caja de credito the problem is that that uh when i withdraw money from from uh the cafe to atm they take or they charge me more than one dollar. Let's say, for example, that I, I withdraw I withdraw two hundred dollars. Why well, cannot do that? Well, let's say let's say three hundred dollars, three hundred. I have to withdraw two hundred fifty before the rest, and they uh and then I I, I can uh I cannot withdraw fifty dollars. I have to withdraw uh forty five. Because they charge me one dollar or two dollars, it's very expensive. Yes, I believe you. That is true. But yes. in this case, with industrial bank, that uh -huh. is an uh -huh. advantage. Uh -huh. That's an that's a good advantage. That's a good advantage, actually. Yes. But the disadvantage of this is that I that I only have five transaction per month all oh, right five if i month. yes if i make six transaction they charge me hmm. I, I maybe understand. one or two dollars well that used to happen to me a few years ago like i'm telling you three or four years ago now with Agricola Bank, uh, they don't do that to me. I don't know if they do it to it to um, to more people, but uh, I can do ten or or fifteen withdrawals every month, and they don't charge me anything. They don't. They have never charged me for 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 withdrawing money. They did they did that at the beginning, but then they stopped. I don't know. Maybe it's it's for everybody. I'm not sure about that. Yes. Oh, I, that's that's okay. Oh, banking and uh, banks are gonna be doing uh different things. It's gonna be improving their system. Uh, and it's gonna be more about easier to do transactions. Yes. All right. Very good. Well, Eric, thank you for being here. It's awesome to have you with us. Elizabeth, good yeah, evening, Elizabeth. You. How are you today? Hi, good evening. Good um, evening. well, my day has been. Oh no. <laughs> like um, I feel I felt all day long like nervous, Why like. Nervous? Anxiety. I don't know if that is the correct pronunciation. Anxiety. And yes. Like anxious. Anxiety. Yes. You do you say exciting or anxious? An anxiety. Oh yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I felt that. Why? 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 Because um on Sunday I have the final uh, exposition to the juries to my final project, 
and it's like the end of my career awesome. and I have yes and I had that exposition of my project and I'm so nervous for that uh -huh. I get it I get it uh try saying presentation I have not sure exposition exists for yeah it does let me see the difference between that because I never well yeah you can use presentation exposition all right well that's new to me I've never used exposition only presentation to be honest okay. <laughs> all right well okay. I I understand the way you feel Elizabeth <laughs> I know the ner nervousness yes like I just <laughs> want to uh stay in the day and but the jury say you're approved yeah, 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 <laughs> and yeah. end that presentation yes. you gotta do some some kind of meditation before before the presentation a few minutes before the presentation take it easy uh, <laughs> yeah. like, I don't know drink some coffee and uh, <laughs> uh, I know it's it's hard it's hard yes yeah Especially being before being before authorities or people important people or relevant people, yeah. it's difficult to to speak to do well to to act is difficult. Yes. Yeah. I know. I remember, like in my university days, I participated in this uh contest, a spelling contest. Yes, I made it to the final, but uh, at the end, I I lost. Because I made a mistake with a with a word, with a letter actually a letter. That was because I was very nervous, and if there were people looking at me. There were like uh, hundred yeah. people. They were looking at me. I was like uh, with my mic with my microphone. Like oh no, too many people around me are looking at me right now. So yeah, it's, it's like it what's, feels... what's the word? I hope you don't get the, the stage fright. That's I think that's the word stage fright. Stage. I think that's that's the that's the name that's the the, the term let me look at it, it up no it's not like that i mean it's it's not that stage fright i hope you don't get that it's, it, it is not really oh yes i've only i've only heard heard the stage fright but i've never seen the, the expression I looked it up right now. Stage fright. That's the one. Not the first one. Let yes. me erase it. Uh, the correct way to say it is I am or I have. I have a stage fear. I get. I hope I don't get stage fright. Stage fright. But if I think I have it, uh, is the correct way to say I have a stage fear? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think so. I think so. Okay. I have a stage for usually. <laughs> I don't think so. Yes. <laughs> I don't yeah, you can say I have stress stage fright. But that happens when you are already there. You can use the expression when you are in the place or oh. when you have when you have been in the place, you can say, Oh no, I got stage fright. Because I was in front of people, oh, okay. I was at the stage, I was on the stage right there, and I got to, oh, no. <laughs> Are you going to do the presentation alone? Uh, with my... With your classmates. friends? With my classmates. All right, and how many, how many, well, how long is that going to be? Uh, around 15 and 30 minutes. 15 or 50? 15. Per person? Uh, for the group. Well, that's not too much. Yes, it's not too much. <laughs> okay, let because, me uh... just 15 minutes is, is easy. I know. <laughs> uh, oh. it, it's because there are a lot of groups and oh. we have to uh pass all mm -hmm. we are mm -hmm. around 12 groups 12 groups which group yes, number are have... you 
Uh, number five. Oh, okay. Well, I always like to be the first one because, uh, you know, to get over, to get it over with. Yes, I. <laughs> yes, I would choose that, but not. <laughs> I'm gonna uh make my presentation around ten, I think, or eleven a.m. All right, all right, excellent. So I would be nervous. Um, <laughs> all that hours before. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, like. <laughs> From yes. seven to ten, right to ten thirty. Yes. I don't know. Either I will sleep on Saturday. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> like I said, take take it easy, relax. Uh, well, I don't know what to say because I have never been to a situation like that. I mean, I I did uh make make, make a presentation in front of uh important people a long time ago, but it went it went easy so. I, I don't know how how that how how that goes with with the uh, with people like like the, the with you. I don't know how that will go. It must be difficult. <laughs> well, I wish you I wish you the best, Elizabeth. I wish you the best. You're gonna <laughs> get through you so this. Much. You're gonna get through this. You're gonna be relaxed on uh, Sunday night. You're gonna be celebrating, relaxing. Yes. You will see, yeah. you will see. I hope that. Thank you. <laughs> All right, that's good. That's good. Well, welcome to today's session, Elizabeth. Thank you for joining. Yes. Speaking of performances, uh, I remembered when I was, when I took a training for these courses, for in support classes, well, to be valid to teach in support classes, I went to San Salvador, uh, and I was working for Academia Europea back then, 2007, 2019. I was working for Academia Europea before the pandemic. Or, yes, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. I was working uh, for Academia Europea, right? And uh, the company and the INSA for they had an agreement. So they gave us the training. Uh, so we went to San Salvador. I went there with a group of people, with my, my best friend and group, some other people. We went there, we took the training, and at the end of the, the, the training, we had to teach a class in front of all the teachers. And there were some, uh, there was a Chinese teacher, there was this uh, this woman from, I uh, can't remember the, the country, from a part, from a part of Russia or something like that. She spoke uh, Farsi, that was the language she spoke, Farsi, there were some, uh, uh, well, not Native Americans. They had the American accent or the Native American accent. So they were very important people of Academy Europea from the company. And uh, I was the first one to perform. I had to teach a class for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. And I was the first one, number one. So at the end of the presentation, I, I, it was kind of good. It was not the best. It was like, eh, okay, but... Uh, at the end of the of the of the presentation, I felt like the mo the happiest man on earth. You have no idea how happy I was because I had a lot of pressure under. Well, I was under a lot of pressure. I was feeling nervous. It was a little difficult, but I made it through, and I'm here right now. Yes. And then you feel like free, right? <laughs> you know, like I say, uh. The, was it like around around seven thirty a.m. I was number one. I was the first one. We were like forty teachers, forty teachers. I was the first one, and uh, they gave us a break like around ten a.m. On the break, I was like happy, smiling to everybody, like oh yes, I'm I'm off. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry for you because you still have the presentation. I don't have it anymore. I was happy. I was very happy. Yes, <laughs> I still have some. I, there, are, there are some pictures around. I haven't seen them in a long time, but it was a, a good one. I remember that. All right, let me see. I got more people over here. I got Magdil, Mauricio. Are you guys there? Good evening, teacher. 
I went along my way to the home. So they want to say, uh, I don't know if uh, these are the right words, accounting, closing day, día de cierre. Mm, yeah, closing day. Yeah, closing day. Okay. Closure, so we had to, to we had to leave work later than normal. In fact, uh -huh. some co workers are still there. Really? Wow. It's 8 30. Let me show you. I'm walking. Oh, you're not home yet? You're not Sorry? Home. You're not in your house yet. I'm uh, I'm just leaving the, the company a few minutes wow. ago. No, I'm going to, to take the bus right now. All right. Be careful. Be careful, you know? Yes, yeah, teacher. Thank you. I will yeah. let you know when I get home. Excellent. Perfect. That will be nice. Well, good luck, and uh, I wish you the, the best. Be safe. Thank you. Magdiel, what about you, Magdiel? Are you there? Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How's I'm everything? still driving. Oh, Everything's driving. okay. Yeah, but uh, there were a lot of traffic. And I a, think, lot of, I think... a lot of car yeah. driving and it was cloudy. Yeah. What, Very about, cloudy. what about Friday, my deal? How, how are Fridays there? Uh, tomorrow. Uh huh. Um, it's normally, I thought was but more... I think, it... sorry, I thought it was, was crazier because, you know, it's Friday, uh, you know, it's a crazy day. Yeah, but today it's, well, it's like a Friday. Well, I think it's yeah, finished. This is the either... end of the month, that's why. That's, uh, well. Uh, drive safely. Let me know when you get home, when you're available for participation. That is, it's not cool to be talking and uh, driving. Yes. Mauricio, what about you? How's everything? Good evening. Hi, coach. Good evening. Um, today was great. I'm so tired because after my regular job, I got uh, two customers for her for cutting the hair and and nowadays I'm doing something uh with my with my 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 account bank account and I'm going to be as a listener a few a few minutes just I do apologize for for that but just a few minutes and I'm going to 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 end with the, the this process and I'm going to be able to participate probably after night after nine. Yes. All right, all right. That's fine, that's fine. Let me know when you're available for participation. Okay, thanks. Okay. Well, uh, everyone, thank you for joining today's session. We are saying goodbye to November today. It's the last day of November, as you know. Uh, it just went by very fast. Really, really fast. It is really surprising how fast it went. And uh, yeah. yeah. Give me a moment. I'm confused with something over here. Yeah. All right, let me take attendance real quick. Diego Josuanites is not here right now. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Present teacher. 
Thank you, Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. Present, coach. Thank you, Julissa. Let, excuse me, Camilet Villalta Villalta. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you, Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. Here, teacher. Thank you very much. Luis Javier Castillo. Let me see. Magdiel Esaú Garcia Morales. Present, teacher. Thank you, Magdiel. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Perez. Present. Thank you. Mauricio, sorry, Mario Ernesto Ramirez Lopez. Present. Thank you very much. Mauricio Edgardo Soreno Ramirez. I'm here. Yes. Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. Raúl Edgardo Muñoz del Cid. And uh, Ronald Alexander Vasquez Diego. Yes, That's the last one. Yes, yes. Well, we got a few things to cover today. Uh, thank you, Raul. We have uh, some activities to do and some kind of review about yesterday's grammar topic, which was it, uh, definite articles. Well, it was only one, uh, yes. So today we're going to continue working with something similar, but this time is going to be specifically uh, when we don't use the article. All right, let me show you how we're gonna do this. Like I said, we are different. Uh, there are different activities to do today. Let me share the first thing here. Like this. Like I said before, class number twenty three. It's th Thursday, November 30th, the last day of November. Tomorrow we start December. Tomorrow it's Christmas. <laughs> well, the Christmas season begins tomorrow, officially. Yes. All right. We're going to start uh, by working with, uh, with some kind of review about yesterday's topic. Yesterday we were talking about definite article. Definite article. As you know, the definite article is only one, and it is this one. That is the one. And uh, yesterday we were, we were kind of uh, studying the, the pronunciation of the word and we concluded that it has two different pr pronunciations or two different ways to pronounce the word. And uh, the difference are, let me see. One way to pronounce it is like saying this, uh, the, right? That's the most common way to pronounce it. Yes. But we can also pronounce it as the. Excuse me. The yes. So it has two different pronunciations. The da in the. Some people say the. Some people say the, and that's also correct. So we can say that there are three ways to pronounce it, but there are only two of them that are official, and the other one, the other one is just a. Uh, uh, 
uh, it's kind of colloquial, it depends on the place. Yes, but some people say the. Yes, the. The, the, the. Yes. But when when do we pronounce the? When do we pronounce the? Well, we pronounce it when we have a word that has a consonant sound. We pronounce it like the when uh, there you go. That's one thing smaller. There you go. So we pronounce it like the when the preceding word begins with a, with a consonant sound. All right. Example: the table, the house, the school, the class, the right, the chair, the dog, etc. As you hear, you can see, you can hear the the consonant sound. When we use or when we pronounce it as the, is because uh, we let me show you. Oops. We pronounce it like the when the, the preceding word begins. With a vowel sound. Okay, we pronounce it like the when the preceding word begins with a vowel sound. Not the, the vowel, all right? Not the vowel specifically, but you got to pay attention to the vowel sound or how the pronunciation of the word begins. Yes, because there are some words that, that contain uh, consonants, but they start or the pronunciation is not with that consonant. It begins with the vowel following the or preceding the consonant. Yes, for example, we have... Uh, the house, we saw this one yesterday. The house is a clear example uh, in which we can uh, see how we have some exceptions. The house, in this case, with the word house, we do pronounce the, the H. Well, we pronounce the H. We pronounce the H, ha, like with a J, the house. So either the J, the the, the consonant, you can hear the consonant sound. You can clearly hear the consonant sound. But there are some words uh, the, in which you, you cannot hear the, the, the consonant sound. Look at this one. We got the or the, then we have honest and men. With the word honest, you can clearly hear that the H is silent. Well, you cannot really hear it. The pronunciation or the word begins with an O. Honest. Honest. So in this case, or in these cases, or in this type of words, we pronounce the article as the, the honest men. The honest men. Yes? Let's see more examples. The tree. The tree. See? The tree. No problem. The tree. Because we have the T, a consonant. And you can clearly hear the consonant sound. Yes. The... Look at this one. The university. Yes, not the university, because 
even though the word university begins with a vowel, you cannot hear the vowel or you don't pronounce the word or the beginning of the word is not with a, con with a vowel sound. It's with a consonant sound. The pronunciation begins with a U, like university, like this, uni, uni, university. So it's the university, right? The same happens with the, this one. Yes. The Europeans, the same is here, you, Europeans. The Europeans, not the Europeans. Oh, yes, but it would depend on the context. Yes, uh, let me see. Now we, we have a uh, eagle, eagle. You can clearly hear the, the vowel sound, e. You can clearly hear it. So in these cases, we do the the, the pronunciation change to the, the eagle, the eagle, all right? Uh, yesterday, I told you about the emphasis. When you're dealing with emphasis or when you want to emphasize something preceding the article you have to you have to pronounce it as the it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if the word begins with a consonant or a vowel or if the word begins with a consonant sound or a vowel sound if you are being emphatic about something you will pronounce it as the the right yes Look at this, the men, you are the men. Norm we normally pronounce it as the men, right? Because it begins with a, with a consonant sound, M. But when you're being emphatic with the word or when you want to uh, add emphasis to the men, then you pronounce it as the. But there has to be emphasis. You are the men, right? Yes. This is the store. This is the store. The store. The word store doesn't begin with a with a vowel sound. It begins with a consonant sound with s. Store. Store. The store. In that way or in that case, you are uh adding or emphasizing the word. The store, yes. All right, very good. Let me see what else do, did we see yesterday? Think on that. Now, we're going to continue, or guys, do you have any questions? No. no, it's okay, coach. It's okay, all right, all right. Oh, let me see. I'm I'm writing some words in the chat. Okay, I have sent uh, some words to the Zoom chat. I want you guys to go to the Zoom chat and take a look at the words over there. And I need you to give me full examples, but I want to hear, I want to hear the pronunciation of the article with the word. Yes, do not emphasize, okay? Don't emphasize, just 
show me that and the and uh give me the word over there and create a full example a complete example yes go ahead go ahead it's easy with that word yes with those words exactly yes with those words Yes. I'm waiting. <laughs> tell me, tell me. I'm listening. Hello, let's begin with uh with Mario. Mario? Hello, Mario. Not there. Let me see. Eric. I'm sorry, coach. Uh, and and we have to make a An a example. sentence. Yes, yes. But I wanna hear. I wanna hear how you pronounce the the article. I'm waiting for the examples, people. Uh, we have to make an example for those. No, oh, just one, just one example. Ah, just one. Okay. Yes. Only um, one. The employees went to a Christmas dinner. Come again. The uh -huh. employees. Oh, it was the employees. Exactly. The yes, employees yes. went to a Christmas dinner. Okay, the employees went to a Christmas uh, dinner. All right. There you go. Only one example. <laughs> I think I didn't explain uh, myself clearly. Yes, just one example. I one example. like the green apples. Oh, okay. Come again. Do you have another one? I like the green apples. I? Like the green apples. Okay, I like the green apples, okay? Yeah, because you got green, the word before the article. So it's fine. Yes. Let's see. Miguel, are you home already? Good evening, Diego. I just, I just arrived, teacher. Wow. Hi, teacher. Me too. And uh, I have problems with my Wi-Fi. I am with um datos. Oh, all right, all right, all right. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, will you be available for participation, Diego? 
Yes, sir. Sure. sure. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Let me see. Eric, you got the example. For sure. Share. And. The, the pets, the pets on my home are and rabbit and cats. Okay, the pets in my home are rabbits and cats. All right, that's right, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, since we it's have- It's correct, our... it's correct. Yeah, yeah, the pets. Yes. The pets, yes. okay. okay. We have too many listeners today, all right. We're gonna continue working now. This time we're gonna be comparing. We're going to make a comparison between the article and the zero article when we use it and when we don't use it. Because uh, there are some exceptions, but it's quite easy to understand. Let me show you. Do you see the presentation? Yes. All right, I think you can see it. Let's begin. The zero article rule. The zero article rule is when, well, it's, look at this. This is taken from the book. The term zero article is used to refer to the case when a noun is not preceded by an article a, n, or the in this case. No article or zero article is used with proper nouns, mass nouns, and plural town nouns where the reference is not, excuse me, when the reference is general, not specific. For example, the consumers are now more, more tech savvy. Consumers in general, not specific consumers. The artificial intelligence can enhance shopping. A mass noun, like artificial intelligence, cannot be uh, like that specific. It's in general. Yes. All right. Artificial intelligence can enhance shopping. Yes. Hold on. Give me a moment right here. This one. Okay. Perfect. Let me bring it back. Not this one. I have to take a look at this one later on. All right. We were here. The term zero article refers to the noun phrases that contain no article, either definite or indefinite. I mean, or this means definite is the. Indefinite, we have two articles, A or N or A. English, like many other languages, does not require an article in plural noun phrases with a generic reference, uh, one that is to a general class or thing, class of things. Let's take a look at this. Uh, zero article usage rules. When using a uh, generalization with plural nouns, uh, generalization is a term used to describe a broad statement about a group of a group or an indefinite number of people or things. So when I say generalization, I mean uh, I pretty much mean everybody or everything. Yes, 
everybody or everything. For example, students normally copy on their, their exams. Students normally copy on their exams. I'm talking about all students, not specific students from a specific school or, or high school or uh, educational place. I'm talking or I'm just mentioning all students around the world. Yes, or in general. Yes, students normally copy on their exams. Now, I can say the students, of course I can say that, but that depends on the context. Let's take a look at some examples of generalization. I like cars. I like cars. I'm not talking about specific cars I have in front of me or that are near me. All cars, all cars in general, sport cars, trucks, uh, minivans, all cars. Yes, I like all cars. He builds planes. He builds planes. All kinds or types of planes. It doesn't mention a specific type of uh, airplane or plane that he builds. He's just mentioning that he, he builds planes that we don't know what kind. It's just in general, all right? That they engineer solutions. They engineer solutions, not specific type of solutions. Did you know, did you know that the word engineer can be a verb? Guys, did you know that? That the word engineer can be a verb? In this case, the word engineer is not referring to a person. It's referring to oh, an action. They engineer solutions. They engineer solutions. We're talking about general solutions. We, we're not being specific with this one. Let's take a look at what uh, engineer means as a verb. I'm going to show you. I want everybody to see this. I want you guys to see this. Okay, here we go. Okay, look, we got the word over here. You know what it means, right? It means this. Yes? But when being used as a verb, it has a different a different uh, definition. Look at this. Engineer means design, or it's a synonym for the verb design. Look at this. Did he hear? Diseñar. Design. He engineered, it's a regular verb. He engineered the construction of those bridges. Yes, look. Those are the examples. Yes. Also, uh, engineer means built. Construct or design the same the same thing, make happen, manipulate, manipular, manipa, eh, maquinar. Yes, but those are the the definitions for the word engineer as a verb, as a verb. Yes. So it's it's a. Uh, let me show you some synonyms. These are some synonyms. Uh, let me see where, okay, I got them over here. Arrange, direct, mastermind, manage, coordinate, device, originate, develop, craft, invent, plan, contrive, design, manipulate, create, build, and fashion. So over there in the uh, example that we have, it says they engineer solutions. It means they create or they design solutions, like invent or they plan solutions. I don't know what contrive is. The first time I see this word, show me. 
can try this, uh, what's the verb? Doesn't tell me the verb. Well, come on, look it up later on and try. Let's go back to the presentation. All right, let's keep working on this. In the, the examples, the speaker is making a generalization about an indefinite number of cars, planes, and solutions. We don't know what kind of cars, we don't know what kind of planes, and we don't know what kind of solutions. In addition, the, now, the nouns in the statements are plural. Therefore, the zero condition article, sorry, the, the zero article is used. Examples of zero article with plural nouns. I'm not, I'm not a fan of cats, but I do enjoy being around dogs. I'm not a fan of cats, all cats in general, but I do enjoy being around dogs. Again, dogs in general. The supermarket was packed with many loaves of bread. Over there, we're not talking about specific bread. We're talking about many types or many kinds of loaves of bread. Loves rebanadas, like the pan bimbo or those, those, that type of bread. That is loves. All right. She read many books over the, over the past year. She read many books. Books, general. The chip yard was full of boats this season. And we have an example. Our team engineers, the same, our team plans, compute, excuse me, computer parts for international markets. Oh, create or design. Our team designs computer parts for international markets. Let's make a comparison with the same, the same, uh, the same word. We're gonna compare when we use the article and when we avoid using the article. Let, look, let's, take, let's take a look. I couldn't get you the water you asked for. I couldn't get you the water you asked for. We're using the article and we're using the word water. Why is this specific, or why we? Uh, why am I using the article? Well, I'm using the article because the, the person or the people already mentioned the water. Yes, they mentioned the water before. That's why I'm using the water. I couldn't get you the water you asked for. Maybe this person said, hey, can you get me some water in the cafeteria or can you get me some water in the gas station? And then you go back to the car or you go back to the place you were at and you tell the person, hey, I couldn't get you the water you asked for. That specific water, the water that he asked for. That's why we use it. Yes. Look at this. There is no water service since last week. There is no water service since last week. Let's take a look at more examples. The people in El Salvador are very lively. The people in El Salvador are very lively. Versus People usually live up to 80 years. In the second example where we have no article, or in this example, let me tell you in Spanish. In este caso, dice people, se puede decir en español, las personas. Even though we don't have the article. You can say las personas in Spanish, but we don't have the article. The article is not necessary. Yes. In this case, uh, can I say, for example, Salvadoran people? Yeah. It's correct. 
So yes. Moran people didn't kill you last. Yes, Salvadoran people, yes, exactly. Really. Yes. Take a look at this one. The people in El Salvador. I'm not talking about everybody in general around the world. I'm talking about people from a specific country, El Salvador. The people from El Salvador or the people in El Salvador are very lively, specific. So in that case, we need it. When we're speaking or saying things in a general way, we don't use the article. Yes. Nike shoes. What? Well, al revés. <laughs> Let me fix it. I don't know why. Put it. Uh... Sorry about that. Okay. Look, the shoes I will are a little expensive. The shoes I will get you. Like this one. Get you. The shoes I will get you are a little expensive. And uh, Nike shoes are the most popular. As you can see, in the first example where we have the article with the word shoes, we are using the article because I'm talking about specific shoes. Yes. And in the other one, I'm talking about general shoes, Nike shoes. Even though in Spanish we say los zapatos Nike, but in English it doesn't go like that, just Nike shoes. So no article is needed. Yes, no article is needed right there. Let's start. Okay, one more example. No, okay. More, more cases in which we avoid or use a zero conditional or apply the zero conditional rule. When using a generalization with an with an uncountable noun or with things that we cannot count, this one is a little easier as an, as uncountable nouns don't require an article in most situations anyway. Uncountable nouns are always singular in form and apply to abstract items, for example, music, happiness, and justice. Justice. These ones, we don't normally use an article. We don't say the music is beautiful. We just say music is beautiful. We don't say the music is beautiful. Yes, happiness. We don't say happiness. The happiness depends on you. We just say happiness depends on you, right? Or justice. Justice prevails. We don't say the justice prevails, no article needed. Material, silver, wood, substances, earth, wind, fire, and many other things. Note, uncountable nouns are also called mass nouns or non-count nouns. When you use a generalization with a non-count noun, no article is needed, but Again, when you're being specific, like the same way we have it here, when you are being specific with something, we use the article. We do use the article. We can say the music, we can say the happiness, and we can say the justice. But if we are being specific, we don't normally use it with, the, with these words. 
Examples of zero article with uncountable nouns. He works in advertising. I love playing chess on Tuesday afternoons. We have no evidence in this case. Or evidence is needed for all cases. Evidence is needed for all cases. La evidencia es necesaria para todos los casos. Like again, in Spanish, we use the article. In English, we don't. Yes, but look, notice evidence in that last example. We Example, we have no evidence in this case. There is no article because the sentence mentions no specific evidence. It's talking about evidence in general. However, if you make a statement about specific evidence, then an article is necessary. The evidence against him is undeniable. The evidence. What we have about this person, we have a folder or documents where we have the, the evidence of the case. But evidence normally doesn't take a... a how can I say that? Yes. Now, it's pretty much the same situation that we have here. Pretty much the same thing that we have over here with the definite article being specific with something and with the indefinite above with zero one. Yes. Let's take a look at more examples. Look, the oil spill, excuse me, not B. I don't know what happened to me today. The oil spilled on the street came from your car. No D, right? No, you have a D. Doesn't take a D right there. Let me move it. I did something wrong. Let me bring it back. Again. There you go. So in this case, I'm saying the oil spilled on the street. I'm talking about the, the oil that I'm looking at. It's on the street right there, specific amount. Oil is part of, of every vehicle. Oil is part of, of every vehicle. El aceite es parte de cualquier o de cada vehículo, right? We say in Spanish, el aceite, yes, but in English, it doesn't go like, it doesn't go like that. We say oil. We just say oil, not the oil. Like I said, if we say the oil, it means that we're talking a, about a specific amount right there. Yes. Maybe it's in, a, in a bottle, in a recipient. Yes. We're talking about some specific. I sent the information to you last night. What information? The information, the specific one. Maybe I sent you a PDF document, a PowerPoint presentation, or a Word document containing the information in there. So I sent the, the information, sorry. I sent the information to you last night. Or maybe this person uh, asked this other person for information and said, hey, send me information or send me the information about abortion or about any topic. Infor information about any topic can be easily found. Information about any topic can be easily found. Information in general about any topic. So no problem, right? I used all the sugar in the sugar content. Okay. I used all the sugar in the sugar content. The sugar. I'm talking a specific amount of sugar that was in a recipient. So think about this. You have sugar in a recipient. You used all the sugar, okay? The sugar that this recipient was containing. Yes. Did you add sugar to this coffee? Did you, uh, did you add sugar to this coffee? 
So in this case, sugar is not specific. If I I can say that you add the sugar, the sugar to, to this coffee, yes. But in that case, it will be uh an amount of sugar that the person probably left on the table or left near. Yes. All right. Do you understand these people? Guys, do you understand? Tell me, tell yes. me. Yes. All right. Now it's time to come up with some examples. Let's start with the word music. It's an example, okay? Don't take me seriously with this. <laughs> it's an example. Music is the cure of, for all emotional breakdowns. For all emotional breakdowns. Music is the cure. La música es la cura para todas las crisis emocionales. Breakdown, crisis, crisis emocional, right? Yes, for all emotional breakdowns. Music is... In general, right? In general. The music coming from your room sounds weird. The music coming from your room sounds weird music in general the music from the room specific yes life life is a general word la vida yes la musica la vida let's see Look, life is too short to worry about unnecessary things. La vida es demasiado corta para preocuparse por cosas innecesarias. Right? Life. It's life, not the life. Not the life. Yes. Look at the example. The life of Salvadorians is better now. In this case, I'm being specific. La vida de los Salvadoreños, right? Not life in general. The life of Salvadorians. Yes. All right. Very, very good. Yes. Fantastic. right now now I'm going to ask you to to give me more examples we're going to do the same I'm going to give you a word and you're going to give me two examples one example with the general word or a general example 
And one example where the word is being specific. Yes. Let me help you out with this. Go to the chat. Honey. I send the word honey right there. I have honey, butter, oxygen, money, poverty, pollution, and uh, let me add another one. I'm thinking. No. Okay. Choose only one, not all of them. Choose only one and write two examples. You're going to write one example using the article and one example applying the zero article rule. All right. Let me give you two or three minutes to do this. Yes. Let me see who I'm talking to. We got Eric right now, uh, Elizabeth. We have uh, Magdiel. Mauricio, what about you? Are you there? Yes. Okay, we got Mauricio. And, yes, uh, I'm here. Excellent, Magdiel. Mario, are you there? Yes, teacher. All right, there you go. So, Stephanie. Eric, Mario, Mauricio, and Magdiel. All right, people, go ahead. Choose the word and then write the examples. Two, two examples. Examples. I'm back, I'm sorry.
Okay. Well, let's begin. Let me see. Mauricio, are you ready? No, I'm trying to get the right sentence with the All article. Right. With the article, okay. Elizabeth? Eric, are you ready? I'm working, Jed. Is you working? All right. Magdiel, are you ready now? I have only two, about yes, one. Yes, only two examples. There's only, only two. Okay. It's only two examples. Uh, honey is sweet. And the other example, the map of honey is the hot case. Read the, the, the other one. The maple honey is too hot case. Okay. Honey specific. It's okay. Right? Yes, yes. All right. Thank you for sharing your example, Magdiel. Let's continue with uh, Stephanie. Are you there? Are you there? No. Mario, are you done? Hello. Well, can I try? Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Okay, first one uh, about the about the words. Uh, the word well, love is love can hurt or make you happy. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. with the article is the love between siblings is unique. Okay, all right, then you got it. You got it. Excellent. Very good. Thank yeah. you, Mauricio. Let's continue. Eric, are you ready? Eric. Hello. Please Can I try again? again? I have a dog. Okay, go ahead. Well, I, I I would like to use poverty. Poverty is pobreza, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, poverty around the the world uh, is in, is is no is increasing, right? Yes. Okay. And the poverty in my in my bank bank account is my brain. 
Okay. Yes, it's okay. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, okay, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I, I just want to be sure about the, the I understand all. Thanks. All right. Excellent. Excellent. I'm still waiting for Eric, Mario, and Stephanie to give me their examples. Guys, I'm here. I'm waiting. Hello, hello. Am I talking to myself? We're going to continue then. Let me have this ready. We're going to do a, a an activity. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Let me share the activity that we're gonna do right now. Let me know if you see it, people. Are you able to see the person, what I'm sharing, the book or the activity? It says there, please complete the following exercises using A, N, the, or no article in the underlying the spaces when appropriate change capital letters to lower to lowercase letters at the beginning of a sentence if necessary okay let's begin doing this it's a uh, so it's two paragraphs it's this one and this other one all right let's start with the first one from number one to number 17. Yes. We are going to be using all the articles. I mean, this ones. Yes. Let's work on this. I'm going to give you minutes to do that or to do this. Let's work individually. And then uh, after a few minutes, we're going to check together to see how many we got correct and how many we got or we've got wrongs. Let's do this, let's do this. We get some.
Are you guys done with it, with activity? All right, let's see. Let's begin. Uh, Miguel, read up to the equator. Go, Miguel, read. Miss Parrot, the most famous. Uh, lady detective of 21st century. Mm -hmm. Zero. 
Bine, va fi bine. 21st century uh, was born in the, the United Kingdom. The, the United Kingdom in the 1960s. 60. Yeah. Since then, she has been to many countries, including several Portugal, Singapore, and Australia. He has li lived in the North, the North Hemispheric. And the southern hemisphere, as well as on an equator. Um, um, or yeah. no? Let me check. Let me check the the eight. Is zero. Okay. I think so. Let's take a look. Miss Parrot, the most famous lady detective, the most fine uh, of the 2020, of the, because it is a specific century. The. Yeah. We need it. Specific. Mm. Of the 21st century was born in the United Kingdom in the 60s. Since that's correct. Since then, she has been to many countries, include, including Portugal, but that's a great point. Portugal, Singapore, and Australia, and has lived in the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere, as well as on the equator on the equator because it is specific okay on the equator yes all right let's see let's continue uh eric continue reading okay coach I'm From, sorry. she has never to to the last part to a recorder Okay, she has never been to to Philippines or the United uh, United States. You said on the Philippi Philippines or on Philippines? I mean, to Philippines. Number nine. No, zero. And or the United States. Continue. The United States, but she speaks English, French, and Portuguese, like Sherlock Holmes, a famous detective. She plays, uh, she plays the violin and sometimes practices up to five times a day. Yes. A day, right? One? Yes. She is also an only person, an only person in in the world to have performed Tchaikovsky 1812 Overture, a long piece of music in one breath on recorder. Zero. Zero. Okay. Uh, it says there she has never been to the Philippines, the Philippines. 
Yes, the Philippines. We need the article right there. Yes. All right. Do you know why we have the article right there? The Philippines? Uh, because it's on a specific. No. Or is a uh, plural. No, the thing is that the Philippines, the Philippines is a group of islands. A group of islands. When uh, we're talking about a group of islands, we use the article. Yes, we studied that yesterday. And uh, when we're talking about a group of islands, we use the, the Philippines. Yes. Uh, or okay. the United States. But she speaks English, French, and Portuguese, like Sherlock Holmes, uh, the famous detective. She plays the violin and sometimes practices up to five times a day. She also, she is also the only person, specific, la única, the only person uh, in the world to have performed Tchaikovsky's, something like that. In uh, 1812, over a short, a long period of music, in one breath on a recorder. On a recorder. Right, we, we kind of got it right there. All right, we're doing good, we're doing good. Then uh, let me give you three minutes, three minutes. Go ahead, three, and then we check, and then we check.
All right, let's begin. Let me choose a person to read. Mauricio, can you read? Can you help us read? Good evening, teacher. I'm home. All right, well, very late, Mauricio. Well, the, yes, good, thing good, is that you're, the good thing is that you're home. It's okay, don't worry. Thank you. Yes. May I try? Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, if you want to. I don't know. I, I can hear you uh, during the, the 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 travel, but I think that you are trying to um uh, to fill the 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 blank yeah. spaces. Yes. Um. Yes, that's what we're doing. She has been. She has been a, a detective for 30 years and claims that although many people think that being a detective is a piece of cake, detectives generally, generally, generally work very hard and it's not all fun and games. Um, a detective is someone who solves mysteries and the people who contact Mrs. Parrot have some very unusual problems. Little information is available about of uh, the cases she has solved, but quite a few of her most famous cases have attracted worldwide attention, and she has been offered up to a thousand dollars, thousand dollars, to uh, the hour to help solve mysteries such as the case of the Australian owl in the uniform, I don't know. The bird laid uh -huh. the bag the egg in the Europe, uh, how do you pronounce European? Or you... European. European nest in less than an hour after its arrival. Yes. Uh, what a strange problem. All right, she has been a detective for four thirty years and claims that although many people think that being a detective is a piece of cake, detectives generally work very hard and it's no it's not all it's not all fun and games. A detective is someone who solves mysteries and the people who contact Miss Parrot have some very unusual problems. Everything is perfect. Little information is available about some of the cases she has solved, but quite a few of her most famous cases have attracted worldwide attention and has been offered up to a thousand dollars an hour to help solve mysteries, such as the case of the Australian owl in a uniform, the bird laid an egg in a European nest in less than an hour after its arrival. What a strange problem. So everything was perfect. Thank you for sharing or for helping me out. Yes. Very good. Do you guys have any questions? No? Then uh, let me update no. the attendance and we will be free to go. 
would be free to go. Diego Josué Benítez Leiva. Elizabeth Stephanie Vázquez Ramírez. Present. Everson Alexander López López. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Present. Yes. Julissa Yamilet Villalta Villalta. Carla, Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Katia Maria González Alvarenga. Present teacher. Yes. Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. Present teacher, sorry, I'm changing my clothes. Yes. Luis Javier Castillo. Uh, present teacher, I'm in a call right now. Thank you. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Mario Ernesto Ramírez López. Present. Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramírez. I'm here. Thank you. Rafael Alberto Herrera. Raúl Edgardo Muñoz del Cid. And uh, Ronald Alexander Vázquez Diego. Thank you everyone for saying hi or for saying present. Well, people, we got nothing else to do. Thank you for joining. Thank you, Marilyn. Uh, let me see, Carla, Emerson, and Raul. People, I will see you tomorrow. We just have two more sessions left, tomorrow's and Mondays. Well, I wish you guys a good night, a good night's sleep, a good rest. And uh, well, guys, see you tomorrow. Have a good night and take care. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye, good night. Thank you, thank Bye. you. Good night. Bye. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Ronald. Thank you. All right, we're going to place, we're going to place uh, words that go with the article in words that in, in which we apply the zero conditional rule. Monday. Monday goes right here. We don't say that Monday.
we do say the moon. Let me see. Gains the noob. noob. I'm guessing it's a name, so with that one, no. Also, Anders look like a name. Oops, just let's go over here. And, uh, the first. First leg. This is three. Love. On Everest. The Ministry of Education. Right there. 